Good morning, fellow peeps and folks. I'm Ellie, and today we are watching Overlord Season 3, Episode 8, A Handful of Hope. Uh, Alright, so we're having hope that at least one of them survives? <laughs> I have no idea. Um, but apparently, we we're having some kind of hope. Um, yeah, Ainz against those four adventurers we've been introduced to two episodes ago. <laughs> I guess we'll have a gladiator fight there. And even though we pretty much know who's going to be victorious there, we don't know how exactly this will end. So yeah, I guess we'll just going to jump right in and see. Alrighty then, let us just go in three, two, one, and go. Yep, immediately into there. Wow, why does he wear a bathrobe? <laughs> I don't know why he's wearing like a bath gown or something and not like his usual whatever he usually wears. Is he still gonna put it on or does he think it's 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 more fun that way? I don't know. Maybe maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Mm -hmm. All right. So I guess it's pretty much clear that this is gonna end this episode and the rest of the episodes will be about that whole conflict with the empire and all that. Probably kingdom and empire both. Because we have been hinted Added in episode six, so I don't think they would push it to another season. I do think they will, you know. All right, then let's see that fight, I guess. Hmm. All right. <laughs> you could try. Ooh, okay, sure. He did ask. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they're doing it for money, but not all of them are greedy for money.
Hmm. All right. <laughs> Shiny. Wow. That that's the word you choose. Yeah, you're stalling. Yeah, no. I mean, technically they did. You gave them permission. <laughs> you even paid them. Yeah, I mean, he was stalling. You told them to. <laughs> I mean, he, he's putting on a good show. And Albedo knows that. <laughs> oh, oh, that that was anticlimactic. <laughs> I thought he would attack them now. Well, <laughs> wow, saltier, really. <laughs> He's just fighting them like this. Yeah, he he's kind of, you know, powerful. Mm-hmm. Okay, what kind of game? What is it gonna be? <clears throat> Yeah. Yeah, she knows. What? <laughs> Sorry about that. What the? It was so bad that she vomited? Okay, that's... That's a lot. So he had... One, one of the rings did conceal his power.
Nope. I mean, you shouldn't. Um, well, bye bye, I guess. It's different. Yeah, it's not gonna work. All right. Yeah, not helping, not really. Hmm. Welp, he's just way too strong for you. <clears throat> It's not cheating, it's just overpoweredness. Well, hmm. Uh, you. <laughs> yeah, uh, funny thing you would say that. <laughs> yeah, not, not, not really. So is he not going to tell them? <laughs> I mean, yeah, if, if someone would. Hmm. 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 So, is she gonna be the only one to survive then? I mean, I did say I wanted her to survive, but... <laughs> Because that's definitely gonna work. So he's just letting her go. Hmm. that gonna change his mind? <laughs> I don't know, but it's somewhere. Hmm. All right. Well, damn. Yay. So she's gonna be mentally... Well, damn. Okay, maybe she is gonna die.
Well, that sounds just grand, doesn't it? All right. I actually don't want to see what Horus Shaltier has in store. Hmm. Ayo. Welp. The large hole. Okay. Um. Hey. <laughs> Do you not want to go there? <laughs> she doesn't want to go there. Okay. Well, damn. Of course. <laughs> yeah. We haven't talked about this in a long, long time. If there's any other player left. Or if he's the only one. But it would make sense if there's another. That's not the outside. Welp. I mean, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, right? Well, okay, you, you're you having your fun, I guess. Okay, depart where? All right. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Yay, I guess. Yay. Sure. <laughs> you really had to do this, right? Show the sisters. You're never going to move because your sister is not coming home. Because she's dead. You're still so happy. Well, 
I am not feeling pleased. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Ah. Wow, the mercy of a painless death. Mm hmm. Still, it's no. Um, no, no, no. <laughs> I wanted her to survive. <laughs> but apparently, everyone dies. in different ways. Some are gonna be experimented on and stuff. Um, I don't know what I expected, honestly. I mean, this show has done it before. Just killing off characters left and right. Eh. I mean, yeah, that that's definitely an end of an arc because so many characters are just bye bye gone. <clears throat> well, is that a? Sorry, I paused it for a bit, but... I, because it was after the outro, I thought it would be the next time thing, but apparently it's not. Just, just kill one person. Mm hmm. Oops. A dragon. Why not? I mean, sure. Ah, that's where they departed to. Okay, so. Two of them, actually. Twins. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, <laughs> well damn, that's a declaration of war. Well damn, you're dead. That's definitely a declaration of war. So I guess the head of one noble can't solve that problem right now, I guess, you know, just just saying, okay, this is the next episode kind of thing. Um, All right, so this was episode eight of um, Overlord season three. Um, yeah, um, I'm just not gonna talk about how people are again dead <laughs> I I think you know my opinion to that <laughs> I mean you know it's fine killing off some characters but if you do it so much 
at some point it it just gets tiring. It was like the same when I was reading Game of Thrones. It was like, okay, I like that there's always the danger, but do really so many people have to die? <laughs> because it does, at some point it just uh, doesn't... Usually when you have like media and a person dies, it's supposed to leave an impact, it's supposed to have a meaning, but the more you do it, the less meaning is it has. So... It would have a meaning if one of like the floor guardians would actually die or something. That, that would be an impact, definitely here. But apparently just, you know, even named characters that have memorable designs or something are not leaving impacts here. Um, except for maybe one girl who was supposed to return to her sisters. I'm mad about this. <laughs> well, like the others didn't actually, you know, I'm like, okay, if the others die, I'm fine. <laughs> But yeah, um, so this has, you know, that last scene has kind of been, um, I, I stopped it for a short time, but maybe I will cut it out so that it still fits with the sink for you guys. Um, I don't know, um, I do think that uh, stuff might go down right now. So, Reigns is kind of declaring war against the Empire. And that was the plan, I guess. Um, to give the request for those workers to go there. And after killing them all, since they're all dead, nobody actually, you know, not, nobody really knows the whole story. They can blame the Emperor, and yay, fun. But yeah, I don't know. I, I'm I'm just gonna see where else the other episodes are gonna take us. But at this point, I don't have anything else to say about this episode. So on this note, have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.